we've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. Oh, a fantastic game from Ja Moran in this one. He's been excellent at cutting through the defense and giving them fits around the basket. Now you want these kind of nights where you can start to see those openings before they happen. And Atlanta shooting at a decent clip, 45% for the game. They've got Desmond Bain. Xavier Tillman is out there with Jaron Jackson. Then there's Tyus Jones, and it's Conchar in at the shooting guard. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. And Capella gets it to go. Capella's got 10 points. Almost all of Capella's shots are going to come from that kind of range. He's a big that's not trying to play out on the perimeter. Pass to Bain. Jackson with it. Collins defending. Jackson against Collins. Here's Conchar. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot. And will go to the line. Defensive foul. DeAndre Hunter. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Memphis. Xavier Tillman. One shot. Is right. Pass to Bogdanovich. The kick to Hunter. And he throws it down with one hand. Yeah, Hunter getting enough room to find somebody to be hunted. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Here's Conchar. Hunter covering. Pass to Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. His defender flying by him after that pump fake. No hesitation on his move to the rim right there. Jackson's gone three of four here from the field. Capella in the high post. Left side, Bogdanovich. Here's right. Pass to Hunter. Puts up a three. And it's Tillman with a rebound. Tillman's got a rebound number five here tonight. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Right side, Jones. It's stolen by Wright. To the middle. Here's Bogdanovich. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Bogdanovich has got 13 points. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. And you love Bogdanovich and just the versatility he brings, B.A. Here's Bain. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Clock at six. That one a little long. And as for Bogdanovich's ability to play anywhere on the floor, Brent, that's something that adds a lot of value to a player in today's NBA. Think about second side actions in the NBA where the ball swings away from a primary scorer. Can the next guy do something with the ball? Bogdanovich certainly can. He could shoot it. He could put it down and make decisions. That kind of versatility pays off. Time called here. The Grizzlies decide to talk it over. He's checked in for Memphis. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Fires the three. 
Fires in the triple. Moran's got 20 points. And not wasting any time here. Kicking their offense right back into gear. That's three of four from the field. And here's Jackson. Give him eight. Outside Moran. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Here's Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. We've watched Moran get so good at this. Instinctively spots the opening and feeds a really good shooter. Atlanta's gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. For three, Collins. And the three-pointer goes. Three points. 12 points for him. You want to run your offense through him. A reliable scoring option. Morant, the pass to Jackson. Pass to Tillman. Stolen by Capella. Bogdanovich with it. Guarded by Morant. Bogdanovich against Moran. And there's the lob. And the slam dunk by Capella. And what timing. Capella getting up there and capping that one off. For Memphis, they've gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. Here's Tillman. Pass to Jackson. And the layup is good. Jackson's got 12 points. All game long, he's been getting to his spots, and the defense has yet to adjust. Right outside. Bogdanovich finds Hunter. From outside, off the mark. The Grizzlies have got five of six shots to fall so far in the third. Here's Moran. Second shot opportunity. Tillman misses. The Hawks have gone six for nine in the half. Now here's Hunter. He's closely guarded. For three, Collins. Don't Count that Collins. one. He's scoring at a nice clip. He's six of nine tonight. Well, how about that? Getting better and better from distance. John Collins with a nice shot there. Timeout call. Memphis. And things are always changing throughout a game. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Memphis has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. On the wing, Conchar. Pass to Bain. Over Bogdanovich. And it's good as he snugs it right through the net. And the Grizzlies lead by four. And so it's Atlanta with it. Right with the ball. Pulls it from 20. It doesn't go for him. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. And here's Moran. Collins defending. Pass to Jackson. Right with the board. And the foul on Jaron Jackson. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Clark has checked in for Memphis. Melton comes in for Conchar. Gallinari, he's checked in for the Hawks. Williams comes in for Bogdanovich. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. Atlanta's gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. Williams passes to Capella. It's right on the wing. He takes it in. That shot off the mark. Moran with a defensive effort. Memphis leading. Melton passes to Jackson. Moran with it. Over Williams. 
Wright with the board. Wright's got six rebounds in the game. Teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring, this has not been his best night. Now here's Williams. Pass to Hunter. Six to shoot. From the arc. And it's Capella with the jam. Using his length that time, Capella up top to slam it down. Williams against Moran. Melton on the wing. He's got 12. Now here's Clark. Oh, Clark with the slam! Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power forward, but outstanding. And rising up off the ground. Here's Wright. Pass to Capella. Williams up top. Melton covers. And it's Capella with the jam. This might be one of the nights for Clint Capella where his teammates actually try to get him more involved than they normally do. Now Clark, guarded by Capella. Clark against Capella. Clark, no good. And there's a whistle. That's going to go on Brandon Clark. That's his first foul of the game. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Adams checked in for Jackson. And Williams is subbed in for Ja Moran. Atlanta's gotten three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. Williams against Williams. Williams in the post. Comes up empty down low. The Grizzlies have gone 7 of 13 in the second half. Williams against Williams. Melton on the wing. Pass to Okongwu. Ooh, can't tie it up as that one's no good. Memphis has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Down low. Ooh, they pick off the pass. Williams on the wing. Melton covers. This for the tie! No good that time. And the Grizzlies going the other way now. And after this one, they're at home against Sacramento. It's game three of a trifecta at home. And here's Clark for three. Atlanta with a rebound. Here's Reddish. Pass to Williams. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Such a difficult cover for any defense. Lou Williams is adept at putting the defense in uneasy situations, backing them up quite a bit. The free throw drops for Williams. Lou Williams and that wisdom gives a boost to the confidence of the entire team. Someone the younger guys look up to. And it's tied up with that one. Now Clark. Five points in the game. Outside, Williams. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your Grizzlies, Zaire Williams. At the line for two. The free throw drops for Williams. Williams drops them both. The Hawks trailing. 
Outside, Williams. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. On the inside, Williams knows exactly what to challenge and who to challenge to get to the free throw line. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. A lot of times when they've needed some easy points in this game, they've been able to get to the free throw line and get them. The other impressive part about their offense tonight has been their ability to get inside off the bounce. Lots of points in there. Bogdanovich has checked in for the Hawks. goes in two from the line that time Memphis has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter Melton against Williams Melton outside on the take that's his second personal foul 13 foul At the line for Memphis, De'Anthony Melton. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. He's perfect from the line this time. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. Atlanta's got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. Now here's Williams. Give him eight points now. Well, when you're giving the ball as much as Lou Williams has gotten it through the years, he's experienced enough to make those kind of plays. The Grizzlies have gotten seven of 14 attempts to fall in the half. On the wing, Bain. Over Bogdanovich. And the basket by Bain. Bain's got four points now in the quarter. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Here's Williams, providing this team some offensive stability. A little over 10 points a game. The shot won't fall. Some solid defense from Williams. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. On the wing, Bain. Shot clock at six. From deep three-point range. The rebound by Bogdanovich. Atlanta's gotten three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. It's good position inside. May have rushed it just a little. The Grizzlies have gone 50% from the field in the third quarter. 8 of 16. Williams on the wing. Williams defending. Here's Adams. Tries again. The rebound by the Hawks. This foul. Stephen Adams. That's his third personal foul. Big five. expectations on Cam Reddish Shooting as he left. came into the league and now starting to adapt to shots. more and more minutes. And he makes a first. No question there's a high ceiling for Cam Reddish and where that talent can get him to. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Anderson's checked in for Bain. Conchar comes in for Melton. And it's Jones in for Williams. Good on both. 43 seconds left in the third quarter. Outside Jones. Pass to Conchar. To the wing on the left. Back to Jones. The three. 
He drops it from range. Jones has got five. Anderson has great vision as a point forward. Exceptional court awareness. Bogdanovich into the lane. Count that one. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. At the line for the Hawks, Bogdan Bogdanovich shooting one. Bogdanovich, another one of those draft players that gets stashed overseas for a few years, drafted back in 2014 by the Kings before coming over for the 17-18 season. Outside, Anderson. Two on the clock. No good there, off the double clutch. It's a tie game in Memphis. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect balance. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. It's the fourth quarter time. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Fourth quarter on the floor for the Hawks. We've got Bogdan Bogdanovich, Danilo Gallinari out there with the Kongwu. Then there's Cam Reddish, and it's Williams in at the point. Now here's Anderson. To the paint. The steal! They're running! Ahead. Here's the Kongwu. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his first person. That one on Anderson. First team foul. Shooting for 11. Onyeka Okonwu. At the line for two. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Memphis has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Here's Moran. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to go on Bogdan Bogdanovich. First team foul. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Hawks. I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In the first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. And it's a feel-good night from behind the three-point line, racking up a ton of threes. The free throw drops for Moran, and the Hawks making a change here. Collins checked in. Drops them both. Atlanta's got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. And here is Williams. Bogdanovich with it. Outside Gallinari. Just five to shoot. Kicks it out to Collins. Launches it. That one's good. Seven for ten now. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. 
Now here's Anderson. Back to Moran. Lays it up and banks it in. Moran's got 24 points. Plays with so much confidence. When Morant gets in the zone, he stays aggressive. The Hawks leading. About a minute and a half into the fourth now. And he lobs it up to the rim. And then it's Collins with the dunk. A great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Now here's Moran. Pass to Jones. And here's Clark for three. Drops in the three. That's exactly the kind of shooting you need down the stretch to win games. Well, the Hawks shooting at a 48% clip from the floor. Here's Williams. Here's Reddish. Nice D from Anderson. Moran finds Anderson. And finished off by Anderson. It's going to make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Moran against Williams. Pass to Bogdanovich. Over Jones. And that one hits the back iron. For Memphis, they've gone a perfect three for three here in the fourth. And the whistle blows on a backcourt violation. But over and back. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Tillman's checked in. minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. Stolen by Capella. Now right. Pass to Collins. Pure. That's basket number nine on 12 tries. Pretty good body control from the big man as Collins stays focused on the rim. Right against Moran. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Well, after committing a turnover like that, you're just praying the game doesn't come down to the last possession. You'll remember that. Williams is checked in for Anderson. Williams. Now here's Wright. Pass to Bogdanovich. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Can't cash it in from close range. Memphis has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. Here's Tillman. Outside, Williams. Now Jones. Six on the shot clock. Adams, the pass to Moran. Yes, it's good. Moran's got six points in the quarter. I mean, just an agile move by Morant down low. Working around the contact and getting it to go. The Hawks trailing. Pass to Bogdanovich. Here's Capella. Adams covering. Right side, Bogdanovich. It's right on the wing. Hunter with the ball. to take the lead and the shot clock expires 24 second violation Memphis ball Moran against Wright outside Jones back to Moran over Wright 
Morant, no good. Atlanta's gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Woo-wee. What a big finish out of the backcourt. That might be exactly what they needed at this point of the game. Defense has got to be better. Flat out effort was not there. Sinks the tray. The defense takes a chance, leaves him open at the arc, and he capitalizes. Inside, here's Hunter, and he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. Outside Jones. Collins against Williams. Back to Jones. Four on the clock. Pass to Tillman. Buries it down low. And the Grizzlies lead by three. The Hawks have gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. Right, the pass to Bogdanovich. to shoot back to right and he lobs it up top Collins no good looking for the spectacular and coming up empty yeah you can see when it's that close players react he goes oh man we just missed that one maybe they'll get another chance at it now here's Williams outside Jones To the inside. It's stolen by Bogdanovich. Right, the pass to Bogdanovich. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Bogdanovich has got 10 points here in the second half. Hey, man, what Bogdanovich can play. Someone who wants to score as much as that guy. Gotta love it. To the middle. Here's Tillman. And a two-handed chance! What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man. And he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. For Atlanta, they've gone six for 11 here in the fourth quarter. Outside Bogdanovich. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Bogdanovich has gotten four this quarter. Wow, they're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No rim protection whatsoever. Moran against Wright. Now here's Moran. Defense is right there. Ball the officials foul. were right on top of that one. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your Grizzlies, John Moran. At the line for two. one falls for him and some changes here for the Grizzlies Jaron Jackson he's checked in for Tillman Bain comes in for Williams and it's Melton in for Jones and Morant drops them both For Atlanta, they've gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in this fourth quarter. Right, the pass to Bogdanovich. And the foul on Jaron Jackson. That's his fifth foul. Yeah, it's a tough call, but he has to be better in avoiding contact on that play. That's his fifth foul. And one more, it'll be hitting the showers. Here's right. Shot clock at five. The Grizzlies pull it in. Jackson's got double digit rebounds now in the game. Melton on the wing.
Down low. Here's Adams. And it's slammed in by Adams. Yeah, that 265 pounds out there, it's pretty solid. A wrecking ball. Atlanta's gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Right, the pass to Hunter. Drives to the hoop. Uses the glass on the layup. Hunter's gotten four this quarter. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in, coming off that pick. Melton outside. Back to Moran. Over right. And the Grizzlies get another bucket right there. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. And here's Hunter. Soft touch off the glass. They're just not controlling the offensive glass the way they were in the first half. They could use some of those second-chance opportunities right now. Now here's Moran. Pass to Bain. Shoots it from the corner. Moran, no good. And the Hawks shooting a terrific 56% so far in the fourth quarter. Collins passes to right. Kicks it out to Collins. Atlanta gets it back. Right with the bucket. And now just a one-point Grizzly lead. And just an important bucket down the stretch. This is when his focus becomes razor sharp. Well, great timing as well. Swiss watch kind of moments. Fourth quarter, close game. That could have been a four-point swing. And the foul on Jaron Jackson. That's it for him. He's fouled out of the game. They'll need to make some major adjustments to compensate for him fouling out with the game on the line. With the depth they have at that spot, they're more equipped than most teams to handle that kind of loss. Big possession. They have a chance to take the lead. It'll be interesting to see what they run. Here's right. Pass to Capella. To take the lead. And he lays it up and in. Capella's got 10 points in just the second half. And how about Capella? Not the guy you expect, but cool under pressure that time. Moran, pass to Adams. Good. And the set up by Moran. Morant's got assist number nine now. What an effort here tonight. The Hawks trailing. Outside Bogdanovich. Pass to Capella. And he trades another one. He's now 10 of 11 from the field. Got to have good court awareness. And it was on display right there from Bogdanovich. Anderson for three. Rebounded by the Hawks. They've led by as much as ten. And here's Collins. Anderson pulls it down. Memphis has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Pass to Adams. Capella with the defensive effort. Stephen That's his fourth personal foul. 14 foul. At the line for the Hawks. Clint Capella taking two shots. Oh, he doesn't hit the first. That was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And so much reliance for this team on Capella and his grittiness to do the little things on the inside. They love that work ethic. And no good on the second free throw. So 0 for 2 there. Memphis trailing here. to Bain. Back to Adams. Yes! Oh, now that's one to remember. What an impact on the game. Now I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? Now a timeout called by Atlanta. They're down by one. There's 49 seconds left to play in the fourth. Player of the game, Milan Wright. 
Yeah, really the standout element of this game tonight was his offense and his ability to get inside by cutting the defense to shreds, finding lanes, even making them, and relentlessly attacking the hoop. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Hey, guys, during that last break, I heard Nate McMillan as he talked with the team. He told his players, you know your job. Now just go out and do it. Don't get caught up in the moment. I want you to play with a steady pulse. He understands the emotions can run high at this stage of the game. Great work, Allie. Thanks. And help. Here we go. Money. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Now a timeout call by Atlanta. They're losing by three. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. lead about seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks oh Adams with the block and they committed an intentional foul we'll see another one of those so they get into the penalty yeah just a must foul situation to stop the clock and here are the Grizzlies now and they go to the intentional foul that's his second person foul 14 at the line for the Grizzlies, John Moran. Two shots. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that gives him a four point cushion. He hits both free throws here, and it's a five-point game. And just like that, this game is a two-possession affair. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Bogdanovich passes to right. Outside Bogdanovich. Can't connect from long distance. It's never easy from that distance. But we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-up. So maybe just a step too far. And so it's Memphis winning this one. Boy, they didn't make it easy on their fans or themselves. But at the end of the day, everyone on their side is happy. Yeah, happy indeed. The momentum shifted away from them a few times, especially early on. But give these guys credit for sticking with the game plan and finishing the job. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. So alongside Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, Brent Barry, and our entire 2K crew, I'm Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching.